Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2018. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or a company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Our challenge for November is a three-part assembly. Notice the three components are rested on the plate. With that in mind, let's begin creating our plate component. To create our first component, let's head up to Assemble and select New Component. Let's name this as Plate. And this will be an empty component. And we want this to be immediately activated. And of course, this is not a sheet metal component, so let's disable this and hit OK. Notice on our browser, we now have our plate component and it is currently activated. Let's enter sketch mode, heading up to sketch and select create sketch. Let's sketch on our XZ plane. So selecting this plane and I'm going to hit R. To grab our rectangle and on the feature options let's select center rectangle let's drop our center point at the origin left click here for the width I'm going to key in 30 and hit tab key in 120 for the length hitting enter let's add the circles as well so I'm going to hit C for circle Let's create the first two circles here. Hitting escape. Hit D for dimension. Let's dimension the circle to be 10. Hitting escape and let's select the circle. Holding control, selecting the circle as well. Right click and select equal. Next, let's create a horizontal line. So I'm going to hit L for line. Drop the first point at the center point of our circle and the other point to the right circle. Hitting escape. Let's select this line and turn this into a construction entity. Next, let's head to constraints and select midpoint. Selecting this horizontal line and our origin. Hitting escape and hitting D for dimension. Selecting the center point and the center point. Left click here to place our dimension key in 30. Hitting escape. Let's create another two circles. And instead of hitting C, I'm going to select this circle. Hit control C and control V. Grab our planar handle and position this one here. Hit OK. Hit Control V once more to paste. Grab this planar handle and position our circle here. Selecting OK. Hit L for line. Create a line from the center point to the center point. Hit Escape. Select this line. Right click and let's make this horizontal. Reselect our line and hit X, making this a construction entity. Next, let's head to Constraints and select Equal, selecting our parent, this one to be the child, the parent, and this one to be the child. Hitting Escape, select this line, hold Control and left click to select our origin, right click and select Midpoint. Next, hit D for Dimension. Select the center point and the center point. Let's place our dimension here. Key in 90. Hitting enter. Hitting escape. Our sketch entities are all black, meaning they are fully constrained. From here, we can now select stop sketch. And under create, selecting extrude. Let's select our profile. And for the direction, selecting symmetric. The thickness of our plate to be 10. Let me change our measurement to whole length, the distance to be 10. 
Operation New Buddy and hit OK. The rest of our components will be referring to this plate so it is a best practice for the parent component to be grounded. Let's head to plate, right click and select ground. So from here we have locked all of its degrees of freedom and obviously we cannot move this component anymore. With our first component completed, we can now create another component. Another way is to head to unsaved or our parent component, right click and select new component. Let's rename this component to pin. Now I prefer a clean view and I want the silhouette of our plate to be removed. I can head to pin, right click, and at the bottom beyond our screen capture area is isolate. With our pin currently activated, let's now hit C for circle, select our XZ plane, drop our center point at the origin, key in 10, hit E for extrude, change the direction to symmetric, and the measurement to be whole length. Selecting the circular profile, grab our arrow up. And for the distance, let's key in 20. Operation New Buddy and hit OK. Let's now proceed to create our third component. Let's activate our main assembly. Notice our pin is ungrounded, so this one is free to move. I can left click and hold to move our pin. Let's create our third component, heading to unsaved, right click and select new component. Let's name this as C dash bracket. Since we only have view components, instead of isolating, I can simply turn off the visibility of pin component. With our bracket activated, let me show you another way of creating this component. I'm going to hit R for rectangle and whenever you see this dialog box appear, simply select capture position. Let's select our XY plane. Let's drop our first corner here. Left click here, hitting escape. Let's select midpoint and select this vertical line and our origin. Next, hit T for trim and let's delete this line segment. Next, hitting D for dimension, let's select this vertical line. This one to be 50. Selecting this vertical line and this endpoint. The value to be 40. Hitting escape. Next, I want to align this endpoint vertically with this endpoint. So selecting horizontal vertical, selecting this endpoint and this endpoint. Hitting escape and select stop sketch. Let's change our workspace to patch. And under create, let's select extrude, select this profile. Make sure chaining is enabled. Grab this arrow. Change the direction to symmetric. The measurement to be whole length and the distance to be 30. Hitting OK. Let's revert back to our model workspace. And under modify, let's select thicken. And under create, let's select thicken for the faces, making sure under select, window selection is enabled, creating a window selection, release, let's key in 10, and pull this inward, so this one should be negative 10. Operation new body and hit OK. Let's now create the holes. So hitting C for circle. Let's sketch on our XZ plane. 
create a circle here diameter to be 10 so let's dimension this next let's head to constraints select horizontal vertical let's align our origin and our center point horizontally hit D for dimension select this edge and our center point drop our dimension here key in 15 we can now hit E for extrude select the circular profile change the direction to two sides and for the extent for side one selecting all side two to be all as well operation to be cut and hit OK and finally let's create the hole here so hit C once more let's sketch on this face create our circle key in 10 hit E for extrude move our arrow to the right so this is now a cut operation let's change the direction or better yet the extent to be all and hit OK we have now completed our three components activating our main file and from here I can right click as well and select show all components with our main assembly activated we can now assemble our components let's head up to assemble and select joint so once more whenever you see this dialog box simply select capture position so notice as I hover over this face a smiley looking figure is attached to my cursor this icon attached to my cursor is our joint origin my intent here is to place our C bracket on the side of our plate with their holes aligned perfectly when mating components we are mating the joint origin assigned so take note of the position and orientation of our smiley or joint origin for component one let's now position our joint origin here notice as I hover over this face and hold control I am now locked on this face and if I release I can hover over the other faces once again let's head back to this face and lock by holding control and let's select this joint origin here left click let's rotate hover over this face hold control to lock and select this joint origin Now the appropriate motion type here should be Revolute. Moving forward, I highly advise you to discover all the motion types. With our components in place, let's now hit OK. Next, let's position our pin inside this hole. Heading up, selecting Joint. Let's assign our joint origin on the stop face, left click, hover over this face, hold control, selecting this joint origin, left click, and let's flip, motion type to be revolute and hit OK. No need to worry on recreating the components, all we have to do is simply select the component hit ctrl C to copy left click here on our main file and hit ctrl V to paste let's grab our planar handle and move our newly copied component here selecting OK hitting J which is the shortcut for joint assigning our joint origin here holding ctrl and left click hovering over this face 
holding control and selecting this joint origin motion type revolute hitting ok selecting our pin hit control c to copy left click on our main file control v to paste grab our planar handle selecting ok hit j once more for joint select this joint origin hover over this face hold control and select this joint origin selecting flip selecting ok and finally let's grab our plate control c to copy control v to paste move our component up selecting ok hit j for revolute hover over this face hold control selecting this joint origin same here holding control selecting this joint origin selecting ok let's move our plate here to have a better view hit j once more selecting capture position hover over this face selecting this joint origin same here selecting this joint origin selecting ok and from here i want you to repeat the procedure by copying pin and positioning it to these holes welcome back my pins are now in place from here i can now inspect and move our components congratulations for completing the november fusion 360 monthly challenge curious to know how you modeled and assembled the components leave a comment down below in addition, inviting you to support the largest Autodesk student group in Design Academy. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge.